Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Laravel 8 Framework tutorial. This is our part number 69. Inside this video, we will continue current application and inside this we will discuss all about update data. And also, we will see the concept of method spoofing. So if I back to browser, so in the last video, what we had created when we click on any of the edit button of that respective row, so as we can see that we have a edit device layout. Inside this layout, we have rendered the data of that respective device on the behalf of this device ID. Now we want to update, let's say if we want to change something here, if we need to select here, so we need to update this data inside our database table as well. So for that, what I will do, first of all, we need to inspect that. Here as we can see that inside this form method, inside this form HTML element, here we have method type equals to post. But we need to hit using put method. If I back to terminal, close this development server, and let's have php artisan route list, pressing enter. Now inside this route list, as we can see that we need to use device.update by using put or patch method. So here is the URL means this is the route, this is the name of this route and it is using update method of device controller. But the most important thing, we need to hit this method but using put or patch request type. So how can we convert our request from post to put request type? So to do that, we need to use method spoofing. Simply, if I back to editor, go inside resources folder, views folder, inside crud, here is the layout of addedevice.play.php. Now inside this layout, inside this form tag, here we have the method type equals to post. So we are not going to change something post to put or something post to patch. It will not work. So for that, what we will do, we keep it as post but inside this, we are going to use a method directive. Inside this method directive, we need to pass our requested method type. So we want to convert this requested route, means from we want to convert from post to put. So we need to use a method and inside this we have passed put request type and also if you go to terminal, this time we need to hit called device.update. So also, we need to update here instead of device.store, this time we have device.update. So if we change, go and reload this page. Firstly, let's start our development server. And here we have called missing required parameter for route device.update and this error is because we have used this named route but the perfect route is something like this so we need to pass the device id into the action url so back to editor here inside this inside this second parameter what i will do simply let's say device it means this is the device instance what we are sending from controller if i press ctrl b go inside app HTTP controllers device controller and if we go inside this edit method we are sending a device instance. This device instance refers to all the values on the behalf of this device ID. So what I will do inside this edit layout this time we have device ID. So if we change go and reload this page and as we can see that error has been resolved. Now if I click on inspect here we can see that inside this form tag, this time we have two input type hidden fields. The first is the first field is all about for the CSIF token. All we know about that. But the second, this is the method spoofing element. It means on processing this form, the method type is going to convert from post to put request type means that this input type hidden element is going to override the processing request type. So in a single line, we can say that method spoofing is a concept 
in which we are going to change the request type at runtime. So now, by the help of put request type, we are going to hit the update method of device controller and here it is. So I am going to remove this second parameter, instead I will pass the ID because we are passing device ID into the URL and let's say that device equals to this is device model and we will use the find method. Keep in mind inside this find method we are going to find the data on the behalf of primary key. It means the ID what we are sending inside this update method. And let's say that also we are sending the updated data by the help of this name attribute called name and status. So what I will do, let's say device name equals to, let's say request, this is an instance of the first parameter. Here we have the name, means this is the updated name. Here we have the status, copy this, pasting it here. And finally we are going to use called device and save method and finally we are going to use a flash message so to set our session flash message we are going to use the request instance session we are going to call our flash method so here we have request session flash the first value we need to pass called the key and the second we need to pass let's say device has been updated successfully and finally, we need to return redirect means we need to means we are to do, uh, do a redirection. So return redirect, and we need to go inside our device page because this is the listing of devices. Save all these changes. Go and reload this page. And let's say that device one updated. We are passing updated value inactive click on submit device has been updated and also we can see that inside this list the information of devices now updated click on android let's say android updated value click on submit device updated and now as we can see the updated value now rendered inside this list devices page so successfully guys step by step now we have completed the operations for add, list and edit. We have now a single operation left that is delete. So also by using the same concept method spoofing we need to hit our delete route as we can see here and that time we will use delete as a method spoofing request type. And by the help of destroy method of device controller, we will complete the delete operation. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.